My name is Glenn Penrod, and uh, I'm teaching a few lessons here online to give students ideas of different ways to learn English and things that they need to know as far as grammar and vocabulary go. Today we're going to talk about things we don't count in English. Now, as you know, in English we have two types of nouns. We have count and non-count. Count nouns would be things like apples, boys, cars, and non-count nouns would be things like water, air, ice cream, and money. Wait a minute. Money is non-count? Hmm, what about one dollar, two dollars, ten dollars? Aren't those count nouns? Well, of course they are. But notice the words that we use. We say one dollar, two dollars. We don't say one money, two monies, three monies. So the word money, as it is, is considered a non-count noun because it's referring to the category rather than the individual item of money. So we have things like money, also time is something that is non-count. We don't count the time, but we count days and seconds and years and months. There are other words that follow this pattern. For example, we don't count clothing, but we count shirts and dresses and ties and shoes. Okay? We don't count furniture, but we count chairs and sofas and tables. We don't count equipment, but we count machines and things like that. We don't count jewelry, but we do count bracelets and rings and necklaces. We don't count the category, but we do count the individual items within that category. So let's take a look at a few of them. For example, you tell me, do we count music? Is it count or non-count? Assignment. Vocabulary. Word. Spoon. Silverware. For a complete list of words like these, see eslgold.com. The exact page is listed here. Which of the following sentences are correct? Which are incorrect? I have two luggages. I have two suitcases. There are three furnitures in the room. There are three chairs in the room. The equipment is very expensive. The equipments are very expensive. Cindy has a lot of homework today. Cindy has a lot of homeworks today. Some monies were on the table. Some money was on the table. We can also use certain phrases with these words. For example, we can say a cup of water, a glass of water, or a bottle of water. We don't count the water, but we do count the cups and the glasses and the bottles. Well, what, what about words like these? How do we work with words like equipment and information? Well, we use the phrase a piece of or an item of. For example, we'd say a piece of equipment, an item of furniture, a piece of luggage. So let's see what we can do with these words. Thanks for listening.
For more information, please check out the vocabulary section of eslgold.com.